Hi, Jake from Full Access UTV. Uh, today I'm gonna do another video that, to me, seemed self-explanatory, um, uh, but I do get a lot of questions about this and I thought everybody should know. This is about your diff lock and your four-wheel drive and your KRX. Um, it's a good quality system. These are big differentials and everything else, but you can mistreat it and you can do it wrong. A lot of other people didn't even know it was there. Um, quick story, went to San Hollow, met a great couple from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I think they had their KRX about a year, been in and out, up and down the mountains, trails everywhere, so on and so forth. Um, first obstacle of our day of wheeling, they went for like the bypass line and uh, things went bad quick. So um, we had to winch them back up and as I talked to him, I said, you know, you, you didn't have your front locker in. Front locker, he said, I know it was in, I know it was in. And as, as uh, things calmed down, we had about three or more stops. He started talking to me and I said, let's go to your KRX. I want to talk to you about this. And then, and he was like, oh no, this and that. He was literally showing me something completely different. He was talking about the uh, LH, the low and the high power button. Um, and he didn't know the four wheel drive button switch even had a lock. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today is where the lock is and why you do not wanna put it in lock while you're moving. Um, very explicitly, it's right in front of me. So if you guys look, this is a KRX 1000, 1000 front differential, and you'll see this entire case is blown apart. Inside, there's a lock engagement to, uh, collared gear, and there's a little tiny moving, shifting clutch fork. Inside there, basically you have, um, you're trying to connect the left and the right wheels at the exact same time. So right now they're moving independently and then all of a sudden they have to catch. And it's the slightest little movement to line those splines to lock that in. But you need it to lock in for it to work. A lot of people hit that four wheel drive engagement button and then start going and try to attack something. And when you're doing turns, if you think about my two hands, one's on the inside, one's on the outside, and you're turning. Clearly the one on the outside is going faster. So that tire is going faster than the one on the inside, um, or this one is dragging. So those effects, what happens is all of a sudden that four wheel drive, that wheel locks in. And if you're going too fast, you have a little bit too much throttle when they engage, boom, you blow the whole case apart. And that's what happens. Um, so today I thought I'd show you a simple little video of what you're looking for in your diff lock. Um, I know mine on one KRX, it usually engages within two to three seconds of hitting the switch and just jiggling the steering wheel. Um, my green KRX, not so much. Um, sometimes I need it and I need it right now and uh, it could be, it could be a while. I could try to back up and turn four or five times before I actually see that diff lock switch come on. So um, another thing, I got a little, couple little toys on the table I'm gonna show you, kind of describe a little bit more what I'm talking about. So in a KRX, when you're in two wheel drive, you're obviously just spinning the rear tires. Um, when you're in four wheel drive, you're only spinning one front tire. Now it could be this tire, it could be this tire, but the tire you're spinning is the one with the least amount of traction. And that is, or th th yes, I said that correctly. Didn't I, or did I? I don't know. The one that has the least traction is the one that's gonna spin. When you got the one that has all the traction, that's the one you want to claw and grab and pull you and it doesn't do it. That's why you engage that four wheel drive lock button. What you get is something similar to this. Both wheels, perfectly turn at the exact same time, and then that gives you a true four-wheel drive. So if you're doing some, some good climbs and things, and you know if uh, you're questioning if it's within your realm or so on and so forth, hey, hit the switch, but wait for it to engage, um, and that's it. So I think we'll run out to the property now, and uh, we'll show you our little test hill, and I'll show you guys how to do that part. Okay, so now we got a little test hill behind us, about 30, 35 degrees, it's pretty loose. Um, we can make it up without the front locker, but this is perfect to show you that we're pretty much hitting something straight and um, I wanna show you guys how the switch works. Okay, for starters, first thing you guys are gonna notice is you've got the four wheel drive symbol right here. And as you can see, all four tires are hollow. As soon as you turn the key on, they go black. And then you'll see, well, I'm still in four wheel drive. So right now I'm on four-wheel drive because the front is not um, hollow. So let me start it, put it in two-wheel drive, then you can watch it up, pop out of four-wheel drive. There it goes. So now we're in two-wheel drive. Now with the switch, 
you've got two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and lock. Um, I know it so, seems self explanatory, but four wheel drive. Now we're looking for over here, we're looking for those front tires to go black. Let's see how long it takes. You'll also notice I jiggling the steering wheel. A lot of times those simple movements, there we go. So now you see we just got four wheel drive engagement. Um, that was pretty quick. So next, I'm gonna come over to the switch. I'm gonna put in lock. Hey, and look at that. We got the diff lock right away. That's what you guys are looking for. You're looking for this symbol before you do anything gnarly. Um, you don't want this symbol to pop on while you're on the gas or mobbing. So next step is I'll start climbing up the hill. Okay. So now I'm gonna put it diff lock off, four wheel drive. I'm gonna go two wheel drive and go to reverse. So I'm gonna back down the hill. You heard, I don't know if you could hear the clunk. I heard it come out of four wheel drive. Okay, I'm gonna do it again, just for testing. So first thing, four wheel drive. You guys will be able to see how far or how long it takes. Bing. So that was about eight foot to get to four wheel drive. And sometimes that's longer, sometimes that's shorter. Now I just put the diff lock switch on. So with this switch on now, we'll wait and see how long it takes for that to go. Bingo. So it went a few feet, which isn't bad. Um, other cars that I have and I've tested on this hill, some of them won't go until you're literally going over the top to make the turn and it goes in. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna back her back down. Turn off my diff lock. And I'd say same thing too in disengagement. Don't disengage it at any kind of speeds or anything. Um, let's see. Okay guys, so that's a simple test. That's Jake, full access UTV. That's a super crazy gnarly, gnarly test hill, man. So anyways, you guys, please click that like and subscribe button and uh, we much appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.